good morning. Out for uh, another early morning bike ride. A little after six o'clock. Headed to a different trail today. I think I'm gonna do an out and back. Um, it'll be around, I think 15 miles. All right, so this is yesterday's trailhead. I think this other one's up here a little ways on the left. Don't know how well this one's gonna be marked. But we'll find out. There it is right there. All right, let's see what this trail's all about. Like I said, I believe this is an out and back about seven and a half miles or so, according to what I was looking at last night. So we'll see what it has to offer here. Well, this is starting off more single track. I think this might technically be the end of the trail, or at least the end of that side of the trail. I don't know. I think there's more trail through this forest than I realize, but I just don't. I'm gonna find a good map of it all. I've been relying on a combination of trail forks, MTB project, and Strava, along with local info. But I didn't really find anything on the internet with like, oh, here's a map, and here's how many miles, and all that jazz. So, you know, so I'm out here exploring. Hoping for the best, taking you guys along with me. So, if you want to come out here and ride, you'll have a better idea of what you're kind of getting yourself into than I am. So, let's see how it goes. Man, I like this. This is kind of twisty. So, I think this is called the long leaf pine trail or I think some call it the long leaf greenway which it is not really a greenway because it is definitely not paved though it is quite smooth so far. A little bridge. That's fun stuff. A little bench. Take a little break, do some bird watching or whatnot. Not really for me though. I'd be curious to know. There's anyone who uses a mountain bike as a means primarily to see wildlife or if that's just a byproduct of it. You know it's always fun, but yeah, so if you use a mountain bike just to mainly see wildlife as a mode of transportation out into the woods, I'd love to know. Comment down below. I haven't ever ran across anybody that does that, but it would make sense. But I feel like most people that I know 
are about the exploration and the adventure and the, or the speed and fun of just riding the bike and trying to go as fast as they can or progressing in their <clears throat> abilities and whatnot. So anyway, whoo, a little sand bog right there. Um, if that's you, just let me know down below. Oh, this is not the trail. All right, here we go. Trying to mark it with downed branches and whatnot, so gotta keep an eye on it through here. I don't know that they've had to reroute for some reason or what, but there's lots of little that look like turnoffs that I don't think actually are. But hey, this makes it <laughs> a little more interesting than my previous ride, so thankful for that. Got the brakes nice and wet now, squeaking up on me. Hey, a little skinny action. It's not real skinny, but. Oh. That's fun. <clears throat> it's probably actually just there for when it's wet, but. Spice things up a little bit. All right. Crossing the road here. Not sure which road that was. A few more technical bits on today's ride so far, which I have appreciated. Plus fire road. Beautiful morning out here. Great ride. Sneaky houses back here. That'd be sweet. <clears throat> this is your backyard. A little downhill. Fuck. That's actually a little climb out of there. <clears throat> oh, 
Until he found the way back. <coughs> All right, we are crossing the road again. Section's pretty smooth and fast and flowy. Not a whole lot of roots or anything. It's a fun single track. All right. Ooh. Here's the main trailhead. I started on a <clears throat> kind of a section off the road. So I have a link to the Strava below, but where I end here and then turn around through, you could park if you're gonna bring in, haul in <clears throat> your bike instead of ride it. But I'm gonna turn around and head back the way I came. All right, crossing back over here. This is first road. That one kind of downhill section that was kind of uphill on the way. And come on back out. Smooth section right here. It's fun. No, I didn't know it was pedaling. Okay, crossing the road. One more time here. Nice thing about these roads is, if you're tired and need to bail out, head back towards town and just ride on the road to get back if needed. Back through all these switch backy stuff. This session's fun, I like it. Kind of on the home stretch here, I believe. Yeah. Long bridge here. All right. Coming up on the end here. So, if you look across, 
there's actually more trail it looks like that goes that way i however i'm heading back i'm gonna be done for the day that was more fun than yesterday's yesterday's was a little more open and um straighter maybe a little faster but this had a little more technical not much but a little more technical had some switchbacks and tight stuff and some roots and yeah so i say if you're gonna choose between the two choose this one 